Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for Cyber Career Cafe. We are coming to you live from West Campus, and if you're around, you are welcome to come and join us in the cafeteria. We will be here until one o'clock. We have hot, fresh coffee, some nice, cool, fruit-infused water, but then, of course, information about career services here at Pima and how to work and brush up on those job skills with creating or updating that cover letter, resume, interview skills, things along those lines. But we also have a table today uh, talking about work for you. So a lot of us live in the social media platform. I mean, hello, I'm using Facebook right now. But how do you make those different uh, pages work for you as you are doing the job search process? So that's going to be what we talked to you about today. I have an awesome SME here who is going to help me out in sharing information about this topic. So I'm going to turn the camera around so she can introduce herself. Go ahead and tell them who you are and what you do here. All right, sorry about that pause. Let's try that again. Go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do here at the college. Okay, great. So my name is Rachel Ariza. I am an HR specialist in our HR department here at FEMA College. You don't really think about HR helping students, but actually we're here to help our community. Serves um, faculty, staff, students. We have federal work study employees that are part of our regimen. So we're here to offer students a little bit of uh, tips and tricks on how to best present that uh, first foot getting in that job. And one today we're going to talk about social media, so I'm happy to do that. Um, I've been with the college five years and I hope that I have some great tips for you guys today. Awesome, I'm sure you do. So speaking of social media, there's this thing that's called a dumb all right, so a digital footprint, what is that and what should a student know about it? So just because, okay, so everyone, I was in college at one point, I had fun in college, I think the college experience is the best thing ever, but now with our digital footprint, people are taking pictures, they're posting, and what's unfortunate is sometimes we're taking pictures of people that don't even know that their pictures being taken and posted online, and stuff can go viral people of being pictured in Walmart and going viral. So you need to make sure that your digital footprint is clean, especially when it comes to job searching. A lot of employers, and we have a handout here that says, I really like it, it says the undercover recruiter, it's true. So what a lot of recruiters are doing now is they're Googling their potential candidates and they're gonna see what comes up. And that includes videos, photos. So you want to try to Google yourself and see what comes up. And if it's not so happy or you're not so you were talking about the grandma test, and what is that? So the grandma test, so if your Nana would see any of your videos or postings or Gigi out there and if she wouldn't be too happy about what's up there, you might want to work on ways that you can request for things to come down from that and so that's your digital footprint so whatever is out there and it's not just what's happening right now it could be stuff from your past so you definitely want to see what's out there and um, try to work on that because employer if you if you can google yourself and see it employers can google it and see it from you and that is going to give them a perspective of you that you may or may not want before you walk in that door for that interview great advice so social media isn't necessarily a bad so, there are ways to make the social media actually work for you if you are already living on and have those accounts. So, for instance, Twitter. Uh, over here on this board, it talks about how you can leverage those uh, profiles to follow the uh, individuals in your perspective or current career field that are industry leaders or people that you admire. Follow them and see what it is that they're saying, who it is that they're following, what articles it is that they are reposting, and that's a great way to um, enhance your professional development. So there is also LinkedIn, which is specifically a professional social media site. So tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, LinkedIn is awesome. So LinkedIn is not potential employers and recruiters. So right now our college utilizes LinkedIn to post all of our postings that we have at the college. But very actively recruiters will look for people that are meeting their eligible skills. So for instance, um, I work in classification and compensation. So TEP saw that I had some areas that they thought that I might be great fit for their company and they messaged me on LinkedIn and said, hey, are you looking for a job? I, fortunately, I wasn't. I love my job. 
was saying about LinkedIn, it's amazing because it's a social networking site for professionals. You can connect with like-minded individuals. So I 